Okay, this is going to be the third video in the series for the Johnson County campus. We are doing medication practice checkoff. These are just videos to show you how to do things. They are not absolutely correct. We do make errors. So if you see something, ask your instructor about it. This is the third one going, showing you going into the room, doing your third check at the bedside and administering your meds. If you have not watched the previous two videos, you need to go back and watch those before you watch this one. All right, I'm gonna enter my patient's room. Knock, knock, knock. Hello, how are you today? My name is Katina, I'm gonna be your student nurse. I have some medication for you. First thing I'm gonna do is I wanna check your ID band. Now I'm gonna bring that ID band and that more right next to each other. Can you state your name and date of birth for me? Dennis Allen. Dennis Allen, okay. And your date of birth? 512, blah, blah. Okay, and are you allergic to any medications? Uh, Cyclor. All right, very good. I need to see that. Okay, so I have ID'd my patient. I know that I have the correct patient. Mr. Allen, it says that you've been having some pain. I've brought something for that. I have your medications. On a scale of zero being the least, 10 being the worst, how much is your pain? A seven. About a seven. All right, well, I've got something for that. I'm gonna go ahead and lift you up here just a little bit, get you in position to be able to take your meds. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and move around to the other side so it's better able to see me. You wanna make sure that when you come into the room that you're gelling in and gelling out. I'm going to go ahead and do my third check on my medications. I've already checked my MAR to the name on patient. So I'm going to run down my list one more time and go ahead and check off all of these meds. Again, I'm going to start with my medications. I have a Practilasix. Practilasix, 40 milligrams. 40 milligrams by mouth BID. And it expires 11 of 20. That should be my fourth check. That should be my fourth check. Go ahead and open it and place that inside of this container. I'm going to do my third check on my Practimite K. I have Practimite K, 8 mil equivalents, 8 mil equivalents. It's by mouth. It is in the capsule, in the capsule form. It's in the correct form and it's every day. And it expires on 11 of 20. I'm going to go ahead and open that up and place it in the cup. I now have my fourth check. I should have four checks by the time I'm finished. I'm going to go ahead and look here. I have a PPD. I have a PPD of 0 0.1 mLs. 0 0.1 mLs expires 20 of 20. It is in the correct form because it is an injection. And I have my fourth check. I'm now going to check my insulin. His blood sugar was 273, so I'm going to be giving him six units. I have regular insulin, regular insulin at six units that expires on 20 of 20. That is my fourth check on that one, third check on that one. I now have my NPH insulin. I have NPH insulin at 14 units, 14 units, expires 20 of 20. And I have my fourth check on that one. I'm going to note that I still have 20 in my syringe. I'm also going to look at my Toradol. I have my Toradol. It is 100 milligrams. That expires 20 of 20. And it is IM. It is in the correct route. And it's every 3 to 4 hours for pain. I'm going to note here that my patient said his pain was a 7 out of 10. And that makes my fourth check, third check for this one at the bedside. I should have four check marks. Remember when you started, you checked your more your MAR to your doctor's orders, and then that was your first check. The first and second check were at the bedside, and now you have at the correction at the med cart, and then you have your third check at the bedside. I've checked all of my meds. I'm ready to go ahead and start administering. I'm going to go ahead and ask my patient if there's anything they need before we start. And he said, is he okay? I'm going to go ahead and get some gloves. Mr. Allen? I'm going to go ahead and give you your Toradol first for the pain. I'm 
I'm going to check my site based on how much insulin that I on how much medication that I have. I have 0 0.33, which I know is okay to give into the right deltoid. So I'm going to go ahead and give that medication in the right deltoid. I have alcohol. I'm first going to look at it and mark my site. Marking my site by taking two fingers at that that junction, making a V, visually seeing my site here. I'm going to go ahead and get my alcohol. And I'm going to go ahead and clean that area. Set that right above where I clean so I know where I clean so when I come back. I'm going to go ahead and uncap my needle. Lay that aside. I'm going to go ahead and put my hand here. Stabilize that patient. Mr. Allen, you're going to fill a big stick. Big Ow. stick. I'm going to make sure I aspirate my IM. And I'm going to go ahead and give that medication. Notice that I came back with two fingers and stabilized that needle. Once I've given it, I'm going to go ahead and come out. Wipe that area. Place a Band-Aid on there. Discard this needle in the sharps container. Real scenario, you may wait about 30 minutes since this patient's having pain. You may wait 30 minutes, come back in. Once you, if you do leave the room and come back in to restart these meds again, you'll want to make sure you go through the same process of checking the MAR and checking the meds for that third time. Okay? For practice purposes, you'll continue. I'm going to go ahead and give him his PO medications. Mr. Allen, you have any problems drinking or swallowing? Mm -mm. All right. I'm going to go ahead and get some water here. And I have two pills for you to take. One of them is your Practi Micro K and your Practi Lasix. Okay, no problems. I'll go ahead and let you take those. Give them a drink of water. And that one's done. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and give him his regular insulin. Mr. Allen, I'm going to lay you back just a little bit. You might ask them. If there's any special place where they take the insulin at home, they may take it in their abdomen all the time. They may like you to give it somewhere else. For testing purposes, we're going to give it in the abdomen. And I'm just going to find my spot. You want to make sure that you note your spot. I am in the right lower quadrant. I have my insulin. I'm going to make sure that I double check that. I do have regular insulin and NPH insulin. I'm going to go ahead and wipe my site, set that off to the side, get my insulin. For these purposes, I'm going to go in at about a 45 degree angle. I'm going to pinch up a little bit, 45 degree angle, stabilize that syringe, push that in, pull it back out. These have a safety on them. If it has a safety, you can go ahead and push that up and lay it down. If not, you need to discard it into the sharps container. You doing okay, Mr. Allen? Good. Okay, I've checked Mr. Allen. I'm now going to go... Mr. Allen, the doctor's ordered you to have a PPD. And what that is is a tuberculosis test. It lets us know if you've ever been exposed to tuberculosis. I'm going to give it to you in your arm. In the, in the forearm, and in about three days they'll come back and look at it. I'm going to go ahead and raise him to a height so that it's more comfortable for me to give that. Okay. Once I have him at the height that I want, I'm going to have, in your checkoff, you may have a hot dog here. It's easier to bleb. I'm, for testing purposes, I'm just going to use a small I note that I have my PPD. You want to make sure that you're reading these when you give them. Make sure you're giving them in the correct site. I do have my PPD. It's 0 0.1 mLs. I'm going to go ahead and wipe that site. With your hot dog, and when you're given a PPD, when you give that person, you would grab them underneath the arm 
to stabilize that and give that a little bit of tautness. You want to pull that skin tight. I'm going to go ahead and remove my... You want to make sure that when you do this, you do it with your bevel up. So I'm going to go ahead and get that ready. And I'm going to go... Mr. Allen, you're going to fill a stick. I'm going to go right up underneath that arm, underneath that skin, that transdermal area. Keeping a hold of that, I'm going to go ahead and push that in. Get my bleb. Once I have my bleb, this one also has a safety, so I can safety that and put it on the side. You doing okay, Mr. Allen? Good. Okay. You just want to look at that, tell him not to scratch it or itch it. And go ahead and cover him back up. And I'm going to lower that bed because you want to always make sure that you lower the bed. Make sure both side rails are up before you leave the room. You doing okay? Okay, Mr. Allen, here's your call light. Your bed's in the low position. Are you comfortable in that position? I'll be back to check on you about 30 minutes or so to an hour. See how that pain medication is helping. That is medication check off. You want to make sure that when you're done, you're going to come back over and you're going to document. So I'm going to document that I gave that practice K. When you document PO medications, all you have to do is initial it. So I gave that practice K. I'm going to initial that the 7 to 3. And I'm going to time it also. I gave it at 9 o'clock. I gave him his PPD at 0900, and I'm going to initial that. One other thing that you want to note is on the injection site, I gave that in the right forearm, so you want to make sure that you know where you gave it, RFA. Practilasix was PO, I gave that at 0900, and I'm going to initial that. My insulin, I gave regular insulin, but I gave six units, so I want to document it down here. I'm also going to date and time it, or I'm going to time it, but I'm also going to put my initials, and I want to make sure that I note where I gave it. I gave it in that right lower quadrant. Same thing with the NPH insulin. You want to make sure that you note where you gave it. 0900 KC in that right lower quadrant. And I gave him his Toradol at 0900 in my initials, and I gave that in the right deltoid. Once you have done that, you have done all of your documentation, you look it over, make sure everything is signed, dated, signed, dated, 0900. That is your medication check off. Make sure that you practice. Um, if you do anything that is practice for checking, make sure you do all of your three checks. Okay, those are the most important. Medication is one of the most important things that you'll give to your patients. You want to make sure that you're checking your dosages. Make sure you check your allergy. Make sure that you document properly. If you haven't already, go back and watch these again. Practice at home. Practice with a family member. Um, practice with the hot dogs or whatever you're allowed to practice with. But make sure that you um, do your practices so that you're not um, fumbling with the syringes when you have time and, and they give you the syringes and the vials in the room to practice with. Make sure you practice with those a bunch so that you get used to pulling out that fluid. If you have any questions, make sure that you contact your instructor. Again, there's three videos to this. There's one, two, and three for medication. Make sure you watch all of them. It should flow very well. They're just too large for us to upload one and all together. All right, thank you.